Good morning everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome to our Foundation 1 UW class. Today's learning objective is learners will be able to understand what are plants and germination. Learning outcome is learners are able to identify plants and understand the process of growth and development of a plant from a seed. Now, let us look at this picture. Children, can you identify what is there in this picture? Can anyone guess what is the name of this thing that you can see in the picture? Yes. This is a plant. Now, what do you know about plants? What are plants? Can you put your thinking cap on and think what can be the answer? Let's find out from the next slide more about plants. What are plants, children? Can we think of an answer? Yes. Let me explain and tell you what are plants. Plant is called a living thing that grows in the soil. And it has a stem and some leaves, roots and beautiful flowers as well as fruits. You can see plants everywhere. They can be like grass, it can be a tree, it can be a flower plant, or it can be bushes, or ferns, or mosses, or many more ways plants can be found everywhere like that. Now let us see some different types of plants. Do you know children that plants are of different shapes and sizes? Can you see these pictures? Can you see that each plant looks different from each other? On the right topmost corner you can see a plant it looks like it has thorns. Yes, that is a desert plant called cactus. It is famous as it is grown in the desert. And can you look at this flower pot here? It has a beautiful yellow flowers that are called sunflowers. And below that, there are types of plants that are called ferns and mosses as well as we can see many more other types of bushes and trees like beech and palm tree. So children, plants can be in different ways, in different shapes and in different sizes. Now, as we learn, there are different types of plants. Let us see, what do we need for a plant to grow? Yes, for a plant to grow, the plant needs a seed, then soil, water, air and sunlight. So, how does a plant grow? Let's see. The stages of how a plant grows. First, a seed is planted in the soil. So can you see children? There is a pot and full of soil and a seed is planted there. Now, we need to pour water to the seed. Yes, when we pour water to the seed, the seed is able to grow. Then 
we have to keep it in the sunlight by keeping the plant pot outside. As it is, we have put water and we are going to get sunlight. Let us see what more other things they need to grow into a plant. Okay, children, now remember we planted the seed in the soil, we poured water and we kept it outside in the sunlight. Now the plant needs air to grow. So we should keep it where there is air and it should be kept outside. So as it is, the plant is getting all these things. What do you think will happen now? Yes, the seed inside the soil will begin to germinate. What is the meaning of germinate? Yes, germinate means seed begins to grow. So when the seed begins to grow, the stem is the first part that will shoot up from the seed. Can you see this picture, children? That's how the small stem will shoot up from your seed. Now, after the stem has shot, shot up, we can see the roots will start growing down into the soil. Also, the roots will grow longer and longer and the stem pushes up out of the ground. Can you see in the picture? The stem is becoming long and strong. Now at this stage, we can see that the plant will begin to grow baby leaves. Can you see in the picture, children? Yes, the stem will start to begin to grow tiny baby leaves. So day by day, when you keep watering the plant, the baby leaves turn into big leaves. Now, at the last stage, let us see what has happened to the seed that we planted in the ground or in a pot. Yes, after the stem and the baby leaves and everything has come out, the baby leaf turn into big leaves, it becomes a fully grown plant. And then, what can you see in a fully grown plant? Yes, a fully grown plant has parts such as the leaves. Then you can see the big strong stem. And you can see at the end the lots of roots that are right under the ground. And right on top you can see the flowers blooming and smiling beautifully and then you also can find few fruits in the plant. So children, these are the parts of a plant. Now, can you look at these pictures children? Yes, these are some pre-germinated sprouts. That means these seeds are already sprouting the tiny little stems. So that means the seeds are ready to grow into plants. Can you see the different types of seeds here? Yes, we can see seeds in green gram and then potatoes, kidney beans, rice, and some of these pictures are here. So children, next time you can see these seeds and if you try to grow them, you can also see how these tiny sprouts come out when you plant them in a pot. It's reflection time. 
Let's observe a plant. Okay, what are you going to do? Let's take a cup and put some soil, water and soak a seed. You will need to do the following after. You have to observe the outside of the plant and draw your observations in your book or a paper. You also can observe the stem coming out and the roots in the soil. Draw your observations by making a sketch of it in your book or paper. Remember children, take a picture and share it with your teacher in MS Teams. Hope you enjoyed our lesson today. Have a good day children. See you soon. Bye-bye.